The 1950s transients. On April 12, 1950, astronomers at the Palomar Observatory in Southern California captured a series of photographic plates that would later kick off one of the most intriguing mysteries in modern astronomy. The images, taken seven years before the launch of any man-made satellites or part of a routine survey of the night sky, they revealed nine points of light, each resembling a distant star to the human eye. However, these lights appeared in only one set of photographs. In images taken just moments before and immediately after, the points of light simply weren't there. The transients, as they are now called, were discovered by Beatriz Villaroel, a postdoctoral researcher at the Nordic Institute for Theoretical Physics. Villaroel had been reviewing old photographs of the night sky in 2021 to find signs of other transient celestial events, such as supernovas and quasars. While singular transients were not uncommon, astronomers had never captured images of nine such objects appearing and disappearing simultaneously. Could these lights be something altogether different, perhaps even extraterrestrial in origin? Together with a small team of astronomers, VROL began re-examining the original plates and considering new possibilities. They ruled out common faults with the photographic equipment and even the possibility of contamination from radioactivity. They noted that the pattern of the lights did not match those of typical flares and confirmed that there had been no nuclear tests in the vicinity. Additionally, photographic plates were routinely stored in radiation-proof containers by 1950. Follow-up observations using modern telescopes failed to identify any counterparts to these transient objects, ruling out known astrophysical phenomena such as gamma-ray bursts, microlensing events, asteroids, meteors, or variable stars. VROL and her fellow astronomers later published a paper suggesting that the nine transient objects might be located within the solar system, possibly in or near a geosynchronous orbit with Earth. They proposed that the simultaneous appearance of these transients, occurring before the launch of any human-made satellites, could be evidence of ancient extraterrestrial probes or a communication relay. Despite these theories, the mystery remains unsolved. The Black Knight Few tales of extraterrestrial lore have endured as persistently as that of the Black Knight satellite. The theory, which proposes that an ancient alien probe has been silently orbiting Earth for millennia, has been debated by UFO enthusiasts and theorists since its inception in 1973. The concept gained traction through the work of Scottish writer Duncan Lunan, who, along with a group of amateur astronomers, explored the mystery of delayed radio echoes a phenomenon first observed in the 1920s by Norwegian engineer Jürgen Halls. Lunin's analysis led to a controversial hypothesis. The echoes might be transmissions that had been orbiting Earth for 13,000 years, monitoring humanity since the dawn of the Stone Age. Though Lunin later retracted his theory as unscientific, it nevertheless ignited widespread speculation and intrigue. Over the years, it has become a tangled web of possibly related events, misinterpretations, and imaginative embellishments. Consider this mysterious and famous photograph taken during the 1998 STS-88 space shuttle mission. Released to the public without fanfare as part of a routine photo set, theorists quickly seized on the appearance of an oddly shaped black object floating just above the Earth's horizon, claiming it was the Black Knight. NASA maintains that the photo captures a piece of simple space debris, likely a thermal blanket, lost during a spacewalk while building the International Space Station. Other evidence for the existence of the Black Knight is cobbled together from varied events throughout history. For example, some trace the story back to Nikola Tesla's 1899 experiments in Colorado Springs, where he reportedly received strange radio signals, signals that some later speculated could have been of extraterrestrial origin. Others point to a 1954 New York Times article that stated the Pentagon had discovered two unidentified satellites orbiting Earth three years before the first launch of any man-made satellites. Then, there was the February 1960 incident, 
when Time Magazine reported that the U.S. Navy had detected a dark object in orbit, initially thought to be a Soviet spy satellite, but later claimed to be debris from an Air Force satellite. The 1963 Mercury 9 mission, piloted by astronaut Gordon Cooper, is another event often cited in connection with the Black Knight. Cooper supposedly reported a UFO sighting during his 15th orbit, a claim said to have been confirmed by tracking stations. However, neither NASA's mission transcripts nor Cooper's personal records corroborate the account. Perhaps the most intriguing aspect of the Black Knight satellite legend is its resilience. The 1998 photographs, despite being identified as mere space debris, continue to fuel the theory, while Lunin's retraction of his alien probe hypothesis is often dismissed by some as a concession to external pressure. Until new evidence emerges, proof of the Black Knight satellite remains elusive, always out of reach, yet never entirely dismissed. Mysterious Wingmen During its third and most recent mission, beginning in December 2023, China's Shenlong space plane appears to have intermittently released a series of seven unknown objects that now trail the craft around Earth's orbit. These objects, some emitting cryptic signals, were detected by amateur astronomers and satellite trackers, adding to the existing mystery surrounding the Shenlong and its secretive missions. The Shenlong, or Divine Dragon, was first launched secretly in September 2020 aboard a Long March 2FT3 rocket from the Zhou Chuan Satellite Launch Center. The craft was tracked during subsequent missions, but this is the first time it's been observed to deploy any objects. The first group of six objects, nicknamed the Mysterious Wingmen by amateur satellite tracker Scott Tilly, were deployed shortly after launch. Each object seems to broadcast a different type of data through repeating patterns. Attempts to decode the signals have been unsuccessful, leading some analysts to suggest they are merely placeholders for future transmissions. The mystery grew earlier this year when a seventh object was released in May 2024. Astronomer Jonathan McDowell noted that this object's release coincided with a sudden maneuver by the Shenlong, and he proposed that the object could be a sub-satellite deployment, or perhaps a piece of hardware, jettisoned before the Shenlong's deorbit. However, further analysis suggests that these objects could merely be debris drifting near the Shenlong, with the signals attributed to them actually originating from nearby satellites. Whether harmful or not, the true nature of the objects remains unconfirmed and China is reluctant to comment on what they might be. Official reports from Chinese state media assert that the Shenlong is solely testing reusable flight technology, emphasizing that the mission is intended to provide, quote, technical support for the peaceful use of space. Cosmos 2499. There have been many sacrifices in the history of the Russian space program, and one of the most recent is the satellite Cosmos 2499. Launched in 2013, the primary purpose of Cosmos 2499 remains a mystery. Launched in secret, Cosmos 2499 was intentionally left off of the official launch manifest. This omission was no oversight, but a deliberate move, igniting speculation about its purpose. Was it a tool of espionage, or perhaps an anti-satellite weapon engineered to neutralize enemy technologies? These theories gained traction as scientists monitoring the satellite observed its peculiar behavior. From the moment it reached orbit, Cosmos 2499 exhibited an unusual flight pattern. It didn't follow the predictable path of a typical satellite. Instead, it maneuvered in ways that suggested it was being remotely controlled or following some specific programming with unknown intentions. By 2014, U.S. satellite trackers who'd been casually referring to it as an object, reclassified Cosmos 2499 as a payload after the satellite began performing maneuvers that could no longer be dismissed as benign. Russia eventually broke its silence with vague reassurances in response to growing international curiosity and concern. Cosmos 2499, they claimed, was no killer satellite, but rather a research tool. Still, they offered no concrete details to verify their claim. Russia later asserted that the satellite was part of an experiment to test plasma propulsion engines, 
a technology promising more energy-efficient spacecraft navigation. But this explanation did little to quell suspicions, particularly considering the satellite's sudden and dramatic end. On January 4th, 2023, without warning, Cosmos 2499 began to break apart in low Earth orbit. It was a sudden and violent disintegration, baffling observers. The satellite, which had not exhibited significant activity in recent years, is now lying in pieces. U.S. officials confirmed the breakup, but remained silent about the cause. This led some to speculate that the satellite may have been disabled or attacked by the U.S. for national security purposes. The truth may never be fully known, and with the satellite now fragmented into 85 separate pieces, the West may have lost its last chance to uncover the object's true nature. This debris cloud, circling the Earth at an altitude of 700 miles, will continue to orbit our planet for a century or more before falling back into the atmosphere. Mesius. A mysterious satellite was quietly launched into orbit in August 2016 aboard one of China's Long March 2D rockets. Named Mesius after an ancient Chinese philosopher who championed the use of logic and scientific inquiry over two millennia ago, this satellite is equipped with a highly sensitive photon receiver, and it is on a unique mission. Teleportation between the Earth and outer space. Not all objects in Earth's orbit can be seen from the ground, or even up close by the human eye, and this is where Mesius comes in. Recent experiments appear to have successfully transported an object into space. The object itself may only be a photon, or rather the photon's state, but the implications for this accomplishment are vast. The heart of these experiments lies in the mysterious phenomenon of quantum entanglement. When two particles, such as photons, become entangled, they are described by the same wave function, effectively sharing a singular existence in two places simultaneously. Einstein famously called this spooky action at a distance, but for the scientists working with Mesius, it's a powerful tool to probe the very fabric of reality. In 2017, Mesius received information regarding the quantum state of a photon from a distance of 870 miles above the surface of the Earth. This is the furthest that any quantum communication system has operated over. To do this, Chinese scientists created an entangled pair of photons, keeping one on the ground and beaming the other to Mesius. Then they compared the states of both, using Mesius's hypersensitive instruments to confirm that the two were entangled. The experiment was repeated millions of times, with 911 positive results. Considering the accuracy required to deliver the data to a moving target, this is an incredible feat. One scientist at the Brisbane Center for Quantum Dynamics called the success, quote, a big step towards global-scale quantum communication. Such communication would be almost impossible for enemies to intercept or interrupt making it one of the most secure means of communication possible. Does the Black Knight exist? If so, was it sent from an alien civilization? Let me know in the comments. As always, thank you for watching Dark Five. Like and subscribe to continue exploring the greatest mysteries of this world and beyond.